Hi there, I'm Trish from Jewels by Trish, and today we're talking about how to take care of your pewter jewelry. Pewter is my all-time favorite type of silver, and I'm going to tell you why. It is because it is the easiest type of silver to take care of. Let me ask you a question. Do you have these three things in your house? Do you have a mild detergent like Dawn's hand soap? Do you have a soft cleaning cloth? Do you have warm water? I bet you have all three readily available. That's all you need to clean your pewter jewelry. If you should get your pewter jewelry dirty, that's all you need to clean it. Warm up your water, put a little detergent on a soft cloth, lather it up, clean your jewelry, rinse real well, dry it off, and you're good to go. You don't need to polish your jewelry unless you've really, really dulled the finish on your jewelry, which I'm going to tell you is very unlikely that that is going to happen. This is my all-time favorite necklace. This is a fleur de -lis pendant on the end. This is pewter. I've had this necklace for over five years. It was one of the first pieces I made for myself. I wear it nearly every day. I have never cleaned it. I've never had to clean it. Um, pewter is just fabulous. Unless you're doing sports or something crazy in your jewelry, which you shouldn't be, you're not going to get it dirty. I also hang this on a little mannequin in my bathroom. It stays out in the air, which is usually jewelry's enemy. For pewter, you really don't have to worry about that so much. It is recommended that you store your pewter jewelry in like a soft jewelry cloth baggie or an airtight uh, Ziploc baggie or in your jewelry box, but you don't have to. I'm telling you that I break that rule consistently. I hang mine out in the open. That's one of those things, um, do as I say, not as I do, but I'm telling you that I've had this one for so long and I have broken that rule for quite some time and it's still beautiful today and I've never had to clean it. Now, I do not ever shower with my jewelry on. I recommend that you remove all your jewelry, no matter what it's made out of, before you shower. I never go swimming with my jewelry on. That's another recommendation I have. Chlorine and even a saltwater pool, I have a saltwater pool, will ruin your jewelry no matter what it's made out of. Um, and I don't play sports with my jewelry. I have never played tennis in this piece of jewelry. I'm an avid tennis player. I will remove this before I play tennis. If you're a runner, you go to the gym, you work out, any of those things, if you work out in the yard, weeding, planting flowers, those types of things, you need to remove your jewelry because sweat will grime and gunk up your jewelry pretty quickly and then you will have to wash your pewter jewelry. But again, mild soap, warm water, and a soft cloth is all you need to clean your pewter jewelry. This is another favorite piece of mine. The Fleur de Lis is pewter. Again, I hang this one on that same mannequin out in the air and it's beautiful. I've never had to clean it. A couple of pieces I have on my website that are pewter is this ohm bracelet. The ohm symbol is actually the pewter piece of the bracelet. Very nice. It's nice and shiny. Pewter comes in different kinds of lusters. You can find different kinds. And I'm going to show you a different luster here. This is the real pearl necklace. The lily on this necklace is pewter and it has a nice texture to it which um, changes the luster of the piece, which is really cool. So it is my all-time favorite. It's super easy. Um, and, you know, just don't have to polish it. And I just think that's fabulous. So I hope you fall in love with Peter just like I have. And be sure to stay tuned because I have a treat for you after the video of my favorite kind of music, something you may not know about me. See you in a bit. So, let's see if you can guess something that I listen to pretty regularly and what artist this is. Here we go.